some of the highlights and benefits of my education at the University of Santa Monica. How long is this video? Because there are so many things that I experienced. I, I'm, I'm, I mean that literally, if I had three hours, I could share some of them. The first one is called heart-centered listening, which means when I'm listening to a person, I'm listening not just with my ears, but I'm listening from my heart. I'm opening myself up. I'm not listening from, you know, do, who's over there? What do they look like? Where do they come from? I'm listening from my heart, and I let that in. It changed how I listen in what I do everywhere, including with the grocery store clerk, whether I'm at the car wash, or one of my kids, or my grandchildren. I look over and I say, am I listening with my heart? Out of all the tools that are amazing, compassionate self-forgiveness may, may be the one that's most powerful for myself. Maybe where I've been is I've been harsh with my wife. So I think, you know, Amy just doesn't appreciate me. So I'm, I'm angry at my wife. And I think in my mind, she doesn't appreciate me. Well, what I can really do through the process in the triads is literally look at that, breathe it in and see that, wow, I'm judging my wife that she doesn't appreciate me. I forgive myself for judging my wife as not appreciating me because I'm the one judging her as that she could be over there happy as a camper. I introduce it to all the people I work with, CEOs of companies, professional athletes, talk show hosts, you name it. I eventually introduce compassionate self-forgiveness. And I've seen miracles in my office with a, an executive, a male, female, they could sit down and they could start seeing the judgments that they placed on themselves in the world. And I work them through the process that if someone went to USM or to the Loyalty to Your Soul workshop, an 18-year-old could learn it, a 25-year-old could learn it. So it's not like I got some special talent. It's that I've got a technology that's simple so that a man or a woman could see how am I judging myself? Probably the thing that isn't necessarily in the curriculum that'd be like you'd put in a manual is I, I like myself more than I ever have in terms of being patient with myself and peaceful inside. So internal, personal peace, which I don't think that's in the brochure anywhere.